Mm. Hey, hon, would you say this is sensational? Yeah, she changed that. She realized that she. Jamie's vlog! Good day in Dubai, Beyonce. This is another nice day here in the night in New York. Kind of dozed off on the sofa earlier. So, yeah. I just felt like it. <laughs> He's awake now. Not for long. Welcome to a very special episode of The Cranky Welshman with your host Jamie Hughes and his co host Giggling Mike. No, I just felt like shit. And now here's your host, he feels like shit. It's Jamie Hughes! Yay. <laughs> oh, I said I was going to laugh. Ha ha ha. I know, I just felt like. Ha! 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 Even if you punched me in the arm, I wouldn't feel that. Wow. <laughs> My hand is suddenly cold as ice at night. Yeah. Yeah. No, I just dozed off from this whole friend. Feeling a little bit... Well, not only cranky, but at the same time, it's like... Nah. A duck. It's grass. No, there was duck. It's went too fast. Dude. Looks like a wire here, dog. Yeah. <laughs> so what's been happening your end while I swiped? Not an awful lot. Uh, just... Anything online? Mm -mm. I know that they've announced, like, sun... Oh, in your case, dick in your ear, yes. I think it was a funny photo. It was, it was funny. But, um... Yeah, no, Sun and Moon have been officially announced, and there's not an awful lot of information other than the fact that there will be buildings and vehicles. I mean, that they, literally was nothing. Yeah, I mean, right now they're just doing final stages. I think later on in the summer we'll get a trailer before the actual release. Yeah, but the thing is, like, so they had, like, a Pokemon Nintendo Direct, Pokemon themed Nintendo Direct, and all it was was talking about the fact that Pokemon released 20 years ago, and then, oh yeah, so these things are things. Here's some pictures. Back off! But you know what? Honestly, that's all that needs to happen for people to be excited for Pokemon or anything. They'll be like, there's new games coming out, and people are like, Wah! That's fine. You know? I mean, yeah. people have, I mean, Blizzard has an announcement for an announcement that they're going to make at their next freaking convention, and people go, Wah! So, yeah. yeah. It's, you know, it's cool. They've got a dedicated install base and don't need an awful lot. Though, weirdly enough, the pictures in question with the vehicles had the Pokemon, featured the Pokemon riding or otherwise operating them, I think. Mm -hmm. The vehicles in question looked like it was a mobile uh, Pokemon Center. Mm, yes. So, uh, overall, it could be interesting. I don't know exactly if vehicles are going to be playing a primary feature or, or what. It's, but there seemed to be an awful lot of emphasis in design on, <laughs> on vehicles, which is kind of odd. It's very interesting. Yeah. I mean, I don't think you take so much time on I mean, on designing or sketching out or drawing out I mean, vehicles. I mean, Pokemon is good. You know, oh, like I, you mean, said, but yeah. I'm interested in like the Poke tournament. Poke tournament, yes. Poke tournament, because that's more to what it is in the show of how it's shown in battle mode than turn-based like attack. Now he attacks. Now you attack. He's stunned. You attack again. When with Pokemon, it's straight out like Tekken. Yeah, it is like a fighting game. It's, it's, I mean, it's they're given commands and they do the fight and stuff. It's just, I don't know. It's, it seems that definitely looks a lot more dynamic. It's basically yes. Pokemon Stadium 2016. Bringing out a new Pokemon Stadium? No, that's what I'm saying. Pokemon Tournament is like that. It's kind of like Pokemon Stadium, except. They used to have uh, Pokemon Stadium for the Wii, they had uh, Pokemon Battle Coliseum. And uh, it was good because, in a way, you have like create a trainer. You can 
transfer your characters or your Pokemon from Diamond and Pearl over. I think the other big thing that was announced during the, the Pokemon Nintendo Direct was the fact that they're going to have like the Pokebank mm -hmm. accessible through all titles of Pokemon that are playable on the 3DS or otherwise. I mean, obviously the Game Boy and Game Boy Advance Pokemon titles can't access that information, no. but, but you can purchase Red, Blue, and Pikachu Yellow for the 3DS on the Nintendo Shop, and, and you'll be able to have Pokemon banked and usable across all Pokemon titles, including the coming Sun and Moon. So, yeah. So that's pretty cool. I mean, if somebody wants to get right into the game playing at a high level, they can bring up some of their favorite Pokies and drop them into uh, Sun and Moon. Oh, that's one thing I did before I sold my DS and get Pokemon games in the UK was I transferred all my good Pokemon and such to Tom. And that's the thing, I don't think he's got my Dragonair or Dragonite anymore. Which sucks because I kind of like the Dragon type Pokemons. And. Really? I am a surprise! No, only like a few, like a small handful, like Dragonite, Garchomp, Salamence. And that's it. You know, just playing Alpha, it was nice just to make my own team up that doesn't uh, like anyone from my own team or using a starter Pokemon, or having a Legendary on the team. Because that's one thing I don't like about players. Sometimes it's like, I'm going to play this game, and I'm going to have the Legendary and have them on my team and go to the championships and stuff. I'm thinking, nah, that's not really a game, so to say. I'd rather go through it, you know, start from scratch, maybe keep one Pokemon as a starter, but well, that's the game the to some people. Though. That's the game to some people, though. I, t I wrote about this in my blog, mm. the thing the fact that Pokemon endures is because it's adaptable to so many different playstyles. I mean, what is your playstyle in? Do Honestly, you my your first Pokemon? You no, I still have my first Poke. Um, uh, is the, uh, God, what was, Jesus, what was my first Poke? Was it the... Is it a water? Fighter Chicken. Oh, yeah, Fighter Chicken. Uh, yeah. uh God, Torchic. What? Yeah, Torchic, yeah. I, I, I still have my Fighter Chicken. I still use my Fighter Chicken. My Fighter Chicken is like a Superman make a Fighter Chicken. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, Blaze like, King. I guess. Uh -huh. I don't know. Yeah, he's a fighter chicken. But still use him. He still kicks him. Literally, ass. Got ID? No. No, I don't. <laughs> Sorry, there's a sign in the freaking little uh, guardhouse that have, never has a guard in it. Asks if we have ID. Actually, the only time I had a guard in it was New Year's Eve. Just telling us we telling can't us park Telling us we can't here. fucking park here, yeah. Oh, we can't even drop off here to get a bus because I put the buses down there. Yep. And that was a bit... Not really. They needed the extra parking for all the people. Makes sense. There was really that many people. There was a lot of people. Not really that many sorts of people. But anyway, I shall see you guys in nine hours odd. Woo! Maximilian mm. dude playing Burnout Revenge. I'm doing a terrible job of it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we gotta go to bed here, actually. Yeah. Sleepy Time Junction awaits us. Sleepy Time Junction. Woo. So, I'm gonna get some sleep now. Oh, bye. Thank you guys for watching today's video. Hopefully, you've enjoyed. And if you have, then don't forget to like and subscribe. And we shall see you tomorrow for a brand spanking new day. And hopefully, it'll be better than the rest. So, until then, take it easy, guys. Nostal.